Nature has endowed Tibet with special geography and unparalleled scenery. Mount Namjagbarwa is 7,782 meters above sea level. It is the highest mountain in eastern Tibet. Surrounded with clouds all year round, it seldom reveals the true face of its peak. Yarlung Zangbo, the mother river of the Tibetans, flows from west to east. When it reaches Pai Town in Mailing County, the powerful river breaks the colossal geological barrier of the Himalayas, creating a 504 kilometer long canyon on the Kingay Tibet Plateau. The river flows around Mount Namjagbarwa, then turns southward. It crosses the border near the southernmost area of Bika and Madog County. Eventually, it joins the Bay of Bengal in the Indian Ocean. Not until recently, was it discovered and recognized as a world-class canyon. In 1994, Chinese scientists performed experiments in the area, and many indicators supported the fact that the canyon, which runs along the main stream of the Yarlung Zangbo River, is the biggest in the world. The Xinhua News Agency released the news, causing a sensation around the globe. Few people know that. For over 20 years before it became famous, many Chinese scientists went again and again into this land, where few people had been before, to conduct research and statistical field surveys. The milestone geographical discovery only happened because of the work of the Chinese scientists in this ecological expedition. In September 1998, the State Council of the People's Republic of China approved the name Yarlung Zangbo Grand Canyon. The canyon is 504.6 kilometers long. It has an average depth of 2,268 meters, with the deepest point being 6,009 meters. Compared to a skyscraper, which has an average story height of about three meters. The canyon has the same depth as a 2,000-story tall building. Both the Grand Canyon in Arizona, U.S. and the Colia Canyon in Peru were once listed as the world's biggest, although neither in depth nor in length can they be compared with the Yarlung Zangbo Grand Canyon. The direct cause of the canyon's formation was the fast rise of the earth crust in the region during the last three million years. The deep geological process also played a role. The Yarlung Zangbo Grand Canyon serves as a natural channel, bringing a warm and wet airflow from the Indian Ocean to the plateau. The water vapor channel makes most of southeastern Tibet a green world with a moderate climate. Because of the rich biodiversity in the region, it is often called a natural gene bank. The Yarlung Zangbo Grand Canyon is considered by academia as one of the world's most important geographical discoveries in the 20th century. Since being revealed, it has attracted the attention of the world's ecologists. The Earth's last secret wonderland undoubtedly has many more hidden mysteries that are awaiting to be unveiled in the future. <laughs>